Thank you for choosing Shut Sports for your new shoulder pads. Shut Sports is one of the leading protective equipment makers in the world, setting the standards of performance with advanced technology and innovation. Shut Sports is driven by the relentless dedication to the player. Properly fitting your shoulder pads is an important component to getting the best performance from your pads, but no shoulder pad can protect you from all injuries. To avoid these risks, do not engage in the sport of football. Please review the warning label on your shoulder pads to fully understand the risks involved in football. Or you can review it at the end of this video. Shoulder pads from Shut Sports are available in a wide range of models, arch styles, and sizes. Arch style refers to specific cuts of the shoulder pad which are optimized for various positions on the field, from the lineman to the quarterback to the linebacker, or DBs and running backs, even the kickers. Each of them is designed to give you maximum protection, range of motion, and performance. The first step to finding the proper shoulder pad and size is to measure the player's chest and shoulders. Using a cloth measuring tape, measure the player's chest circumference. Wrap the tape around his chest, making sure the two ends overlap at the center of his chest. Next, measure the player's shoulder width. Using the tape, and stretching across the back, measure the distance between the player's left and right AC joints. This measurement is the shoulder width. Using both the chest and shoulder measurements, find the correct size shoulder pad. There are some differences in sizing between shoulder pad models, so please refer to the individual sizing charts in the current Shut Sports football catalog. It's time to start fitting your shoulder pads. Slowly drop the shoulder pads over the player's head. Connect the back of the shoulder pads with the front using either elastic straps or belts. The goal is to create a tight fit in the chest and upper back areas, a fit that's on the verge of being uncomfortable. Loose belts or straps can frequently lead to injuries, so make sure the belts or straps are tight but not cutting into the player's sides. This will also build and properly lift the arches, helping the pad to absorb and disperse more impact. But be sure the belts or elastic straps are not rubbing, irritating, or interfering with the player's underarm area. Make sure the shoulder pads are properly covering the humerus and AC joints. Properly fitting the shoulder pads will lock them into place above the AC joints, building the arches properly. The padding underneath the shoulder pads should properly cover the AC joint. Your shoulder pads may have adjustable clavicle channels underneath the arch. If your pads do have this feature, you can adjust and reposition the channels for a custom fit. This adjustability can be especially useful if you're trying to relieve pressure on the AC joint or other key areas along the shoulders. Check the player's neck and collar area on the shoulder pad. There should be no pinching or binding. Have the player turn his head in all directions to ensure there is no pinching or obstruction. It's important to remember a player is going to be wearing a helmet with his shoulder pads. So, if his helmet is available, have him put it on and make sure the shoulder pads don't interfere with the movement of the helmet. Check to see if the shoulder pads are adequately covering the sternum, as well as the front upper shoulders, as well as the upper back. Properly fitted shoulder pads will cover and protect the scapula, rhomboid, and shoulder blades, as well as the musculature area in the back. Check the fit of the shoulder pads. Do the belts or elastic straps interfere or irritate the underarm area? Do they create a tight fit on the upper body in both front and the back? Is there any pinching or binding in the collar area? Do the shoulder pads restrict or obstruct the movement of the player's head? Make sure the shoulder pad is properly covering the AC joints. Also make sure the sternum and upper shoulders are protected in the front, along with the shoulder blades and musculature area in the back. The player should have nearly full range of motion, with little interference from the shoulder pad. Remember, going through these steps to properly fit your shoulder pads is an important component for getting the best performance from your equipment. But no shoulder pad or any other piece of equipment can protect you from all injuries, including paralysis or death. To avoid these risks, do not engage in the sport of football. 
Please review this warning label to understand the risks of the game of football. Thank you again for choosing your shut shoulder pads. 